Good morning, dear students. Uh, my name is Farhan Mazar, and today we are studying the Cambridge O Levels D Maths 4024. We are working on the syllabus, and today the topic we are working on that is called probability of single events. In this uh, video, we will be working with the questions which involve sample space possibility diagrams, tree diagrams, probability of the combined events. For this purpose, uh, we are going to use uh, the book D4, uh, New Syllabus Mathematics 7th edition, and we are going to solve today the exercise 3A. This book is published by the Oxford University Press. The soft copy I'm going to use is uh, published by the Shingley printers in that book uh, this is chapter number two but the book which is published by the oxford university press in that book this is chapter number three so we are going to start from the three a so this is the first exercise of this chapter so exercise three a d4 book New Syllabus Mathematics 7th edition. So the first question is coming up on your screen. A fair coin and a fair six-sided die are tossed and rolled respectively. Using the set notations, list the sample space of the experiment. So we are experimenting and we are throwing a fair coin. The outcomes of the fair coin are head and tail. The fair six-sided die, its outcomes are one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have to write down all the possible outcomes of this experiment. So for this purpose, I will make a possibility diagram. Horizontally, I will write down the outcomes of the die and vertically, I will write down the outcomes of the coin, the toss. So, um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, head, tail. So this outcome represents one comma head, two comma head, three comma head, four comma head, five comma head, six comma head, one comma tail, two comma tail, three comma tail, four comma tail, five comma tail, six comma tail. So in this experiment, you see there are 12 possible outcomes. So the question was, write this, write this thing in the sample space. So I will write a curly bracket here. And in that curly bracket, I will write down all these outcomes and I will close the curly bracket. So this is called the sample space. And I found all the possible outcomes of this sample space by using a possibility diagram. So this is how you will do question number one. Okay, so we are going to the next question and the next question on your diagram is question number two. He says, a box contains seven pens, three of which are faulty. So if three are faulty, four are good. A pen is drawn from the box at random. Using set notation, list the sample space of this probability experiment and find the probability that the pen drawn is not faulty. Okay, that's the first portion of this experiment. And let me, see. so the sample space will be uh, good, 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 good. There are four good pens and then there are five, uh, then there are three uh, faulty pens. So total they are uh, seven pens, four are good, three are faulty. So what is the probability that you take out uh, not a faulty pen, you take out a good pen, that there are four good pens and total pens are seven. So the possibility, uh, the probability of getting a good pen or not faulty pen will be four by seven, four by seven. Okay, suppose that the first pen drawn is not faulty and it, it is not replaced in the box. A second pen is now drawn from the box using the set notation, find the probability that the second pen drawn is faulty. 
okay now you have taken out uh, so these are the pens inside the box now and one good pen is already out so now you have total six pens out of this three are good three are faulty so what is the uh, sample space of this is good comma good comma good comma faulty comma faulty comma faulty so these are the possible outcomes now the probability of the faulty pen will be so there are three faulty pens and there are total six uh, pens so the probability of the faulty pen will be 3 by 6. So it will be 1 by 2. So that is how you will do the question number uh, 2. So the question number 2, the whole question is showing up on your screen. And you can pause the video and you can take your time. The next question is question number three, and it says each letter of the word possibility is written on identical cards. One card is chosen at random. Using the set notations, find the probability that the letter on the chosen card is a S, then a P or an I, a vowel, a consonant. Okay. So let me show you. So, so here we have the sample space. So the word possibility. So basically there are P, O, S, S, I, B, I, L, I, T, and Y. So basically there are 11 alphabets. So first question is, uh, what is the probability of getting S? The pro getting um, how many times uh, S is in this word? How many times S is in that sample space? So the S is two times and the total is 11. So the probability of S is two by 11. Then the question is, what is the probability of getting P or I? So what is the possibility of uh, probability of the p that is 1 by 11 because p is only once there and what is the probability of the i that is 3 by 11 so there the, the statement is p or i so we will add both the probabilities so 1 by 11 plus 3 by 11 so that will be 1 plus 3 by 11 and that will be 4 by 11 so 4 by 11 is the answer Okay, in the third part is getting a, a alphabet, which is a vowel. So we will have to see how many vowels are there. So one, two, three. So there are uh, one, two, three, four. So there are four vowels. So getting a vowel, uh, the probability will be 4 divided by the total numbers in the sample space. They are 11. So getting the, prob the probability of getting a vowel is 4 by 11. Then the question is, what is the probability of getting a consonant? So because there are four vowels, total there are 11. So then there are seven consonants. Okay. So the seven consonants, the probability of getting a consonant is 7 by 11. So I hope you understand. Let me reduce the size. You can see the whole question together. So this is question number 3. Hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> 3A exercise. <clears throat> 